to Night Views here on Z Talk Radio. We are back with one of my favorite singers, an amazing songwriter, Marcella Detroit, is with us. It's an amazing night. She didn't hang up on us yet, did you, Mar- Marcella? You're still no, I'm here. I'm here. Thank <laughs> you for such a sweet introduction. Too. Very nice to you. Absolutely. For some reason, I've been able to hold my tongue tonight, and I haven't offended her yet. Not yet. Come on, I'm ringing all day. The night is young. <laughs> so, uh, well, before we left, we were talking about it. I, I just wanted to uh, um, carry on with the conversation because um, we are going to play the song. This is. Uh, Marcy's voice is most known on this song we're talking about, which is Stay. And uh, it was a big song by uh, Shakespeare's sister, and it was uh, written by you, uh, Dave Stewart, and Siobhan, correct? That's right, yeah. So so what was the idea? Because, all right, let me. Travis talked about the video earlier, and, I, and I've watched uh, previous interviews, and I just wanted to, to clarify this. But in the music video, um, it seems as if you are a woman in the hospital with your husband boyfriend lover and you are holding his hand in the hospital why you know tell him to stay with you because he's he seems to be dying in the music video and then it seems as siobhan is the uh grim reaper angel of death coming down trying to take him and uh, you end up winning at the end but that's not how the song was intended what it was written correct no that's right i mean originally you know Dave uh, and and we were interested in a movie called Cat Women from the Moon, and that was kind of the the whole inspiration behind that Hormonally Yours album. We decided to write songs about this Let B movie that we saw, and we were going to put ourselves into the movie, um, but Dave couldn't get the rights. Anyway, we still kept writing a bunch of songs around this idea. Yeah. And um, as far as the video went, no one could think of... Uh, a concept for the video, so my husband came up with the idea that I was singing to somebody who was dying. If you'll notice though, in the cool. video, the, the hospital is, is actually, we're on a spaceship, you can see all these comets, it's like a moonscape in the background. Yeah. So he came up with the idea that I'm singing to someone who's dying and Siobhan is the angel of death that comes to take him at his weakest point. Oh, okay. Now, uh, someone, and um, I'm reading the chat room, somebody said that uh, during the video shoot uh, that Siobhan is drunk. Can you uh, confirm or deny that? You know, I, I don't know if she was drunk or not. Oh, okay. To be quite honest, I don't know. Mm, okay. Well, I was just All right. wondering. That was something thrown out there. But uh, anyway, uh, stay. So that was written with uh, Dave Stewart and uh, Siobhan. And did you have a uh, good relationship with Dave Stewart? I had a great relationship with Dave. I mean, I he was very nurturing. Whenever he would come in to, to you know, see how we were doing, or you know, if we were stuck with anything, or he would, he would always have some incredible ideas. If I was stuck with a, with some kind of guitar part I was playing, he would just go, "Hey, Marcy, just just play it. Just pick up a guitar and you know, play that solo." And I'd be like, "Okay, okay." <laughs> I mean, he made me. He you know helped me do things I never thought I could do. He was really. Um, a very creative and nurturing force. Yes, and uh, yeah, Dave's great because he sends uh, songs every week. Here we were talking to you during the break on uh, ZFM. He's and, a class uh, act. Yeah, he's got so he's working on Stevie Nicks' new album, and I'm a big Stevie Nicks fan. But uh, anyway, oh, great. I asked uh, I asked Dave. I told him I said uh, I'm having uh, uh, Marcy Detroit on the show, and I said. Uh, I know you worked with her. I said, do you have anything uh, that I can redo on air? And he asked something back and uh, just gave me one line. He just said, Marcy is great. Uh, please say hi to her from me. She is a true musician. And uh, that's, wow. yeah, so that's coming from a, uh, another a legend. So anyway. Absolutely. And it's absolutely true. It's evident. You listen to her stuff, you'll realize, she, I mean, the, the musical arrangements in every single song that I heard from, from Marcy are really intricate interesting you can tell that there's a lot of creativity behind it and she's great so check her out and you'll see just how uh, just what a true musician she is marcella detroit.com check it out and here is shakespeare sister this is uh stay if this world is wearing thin and you're thinking Escape. I'll go anywhere with you. Just wrap me up in chains. But if you try to go alone, 
That is a, that's a great song, and <laughs> actually, Marcy during the song was giving us the secret to her uh, to her high notes, and she hits on there. But I, I don't know if I could say it on there. <laughs> uh, but no. I mean, but I, you know, that's she said secret. Well, yeah, 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 that's our secret. We can't we can't just let that out to you folks. We're privileged. <laughs> now, I want to say about Stay that it was probably the most, and and you're great in it, really great, really great. And the video worked out real well too. Yeah. It was probably the most successful single that came out of Shakespeare's Sister. Uh, what makes it and th well, this is what makes it odd is that from what I understand Shaban didn't enjoy the song she didn't like the song and uh, I want to know was it ever explained to you why exactly she had a problem with that song particularly well uh, I don't know exactly all I know is that um, the minute it was announced that it was going to be a single she said to me uh, I don't think it should be a, this was the record company decided it should be a single mm -hmm. uh because after Chris Thomas, who, who was producing the, that song for us, he heard it and he went, oh, that's number one, that's a number one hit. And uh, when the record company decided they were going to put it out, she went, oh, she hated it. And she said to me, it doesn't represent Shakespeare's sister. I don't think it should be out. She just bent my ear for about an hour. We were walking home from some um, some interview or something that we'd, we'd done. And she, she just didn't like it, I guess, because, I don't know, she just felt it didn't represent the band or... Wow. I don't know if it was because it focused on me for a minute, and 
Yeah. I have no idea because, uh, you know, I was just, it was just a weird, it was weird. It was really Yeah, that, that was the only uh, song uh, during Shakespeare's Sister where you sang uh, lead. Lead, yeah, yeah exactly. So, yeah. yeah, well, that would be my guess. Yeah. Uh, but that's just me. So anyway, Shakespeare's Sister. Uh, no comment. <laughs> well, that's why I said that's just me, you know. Shakespeare's Sister did uh, uh, break up, and, and it seems weird because, uh you weren't actually informed, except live on an awards uh, ceremony, you were informed that uh, you and uh, Siobhan and Shakespeare's sister was uh, split up. And yeah, yeah, I was at this thing called the Ivor Novello Awards, which is like a, basically a, a publisher, it's a big deal, awards show that, that's in England. It's, it's all for music industry, and we were nominated for um, Best Contemporary Collection of Songs, actually, which means Best Album. Right. And I was there, she wasn't there, but Dave was there, and her managers were there, and uh, I'd go on stage to collect the award, we were announced we'd won, and her publisher read off a letter from her saying to me that that was the end of the band, basically, you know, she wished me well for the future, all's well that ends well, and that, I mean, I wasn't stupid, I knew, you know, that things weren't going so great, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, it was a little bit of a shock to be read, you know, your walking papers in front of, uh, you know. Oh, that's rough, man. Industry. I feel for you. I feel for yeah, you. It was weird. It was just, it was a real relief, though. You know, I just went back to my table and, and just uh, kind of sobbed, you know. Right. Like I tried to silently for about five minutes just trying to like get my head around it but it was cool because I was working on my own album anyway that was always the plan you know we were going to take a break from Shakespeare's sister I was going to do my own record she was going to be with her family but then you know I just got it just you know slightly changed direction right so there's, there's so much my own record and that yeah. was that there, was, there seemed to be so much going on, and the experience of being part of uh, Shakespeare's sister uh, seems to uh, have been a bittersweet time for you. If you had to do it um, all over again, would you join Shakespeare's sister, or would you just avoid all the drama and work alone? You know what? It just depends on, um, it depends on you know, what, what she was like or what she is like. I, I've tried contacting contacting her a few times but I've not really gotten any response you know just to kind of like let's get together and talk about stuff and right yeah and uh, just kind of have it out or just you know get beyond whatever it was you know that was the problem but um you know it's obviously not being met with yeah. with great you know open oh. arms so but I wish her well I mean would I do it again like I said it depends on well how much money are they going to pay me <laughs> <laughs> so if you were approached by Siobhan and the price was right you, would you consider doing a Shakespeare sister reunion you know I you know if you would ask me this maybe five or ten five years ago I would have said never um, but um, I, I don't know. Like I said, it depends on her. It depends on on going into the situation. If it would have to be a lot of communication, things would have to be really different. It would have, right. Things would have to be understood differently. And I was just joking. It's not about the money for me. It, it, it's just yeah. about you know the personality is about being able to get along. That's all. I don't mm -hmm. really care so much about anything but that. You know, being able to work with somebody and, and getting along and both after the same thing you know so you know if it were to happen you know, it would be, it would be, I think it would be really interesting uh, I, what we created was, was really unusual considering you know we came from both from such different uh, musical backgrounds but right. we met, on a, we met on, a, on a common ground you know with our love for you know some R&B and Sly and the Family Stone and, and T-Rex and you know bands like that you know so it, it was a very interesting combination so I will say never say never because you never know what's around the corner.